Hey guys, I'm sitting here in front of the Basilica in Budapest and the video that I'm going to talk to you guys about today is really special because it answers so many questions that guys have about calibration with women. And if you want to learn how to, do, to seduce many different types of women, you must learn calibration. Calibration is being able to adjust for what's needed in the current moment. And when it comes to particularly clarity with many different types of women, you need to learn how to adjust. Women tend to love a certain style of seduction. They have a certain dance. And the moment that a man can be able to adjust the dance that the woman likes, he'll start to fit the mold of the dancer that the woman wants to have in her life at, for any particular thing. Whether she wants that dancer or that lover to be a one night lover, a lover that's over time, a lover that's just short term, you need to learn what is the style that this woman needs? What is it that she's looking for? And am I able to fit that based on what it is that I want right now in my life? Because it's not just about fitting the mold so you can get sex, it's about being able to adjust when needed. Now this video of course is going to be about calibration but the particular thing that I'm going to be hitting in this video is being able to adjust your power and your clarity with many different types of women so you can start to have the whole range instead of just one style of woman. Now I know for me uh, the style of woman that I completely love is the style of the woman that I'm with right now. You know that's very challenging, that's smart, that's spiritual, that's sexual being able to uh, test herself and test me, being able to be soft at the same time. These are the things that I love when I'm meeting a woman, or so, so to speak, for a long-term lover. This is what I absolutely love and that's for me. But when it comes to just overall seduction, I'm able to seduce women who are very shy all the way to intensely fucking clear. And you guys need to learn how to do that. You're saying to yourself, okay, how do I start to do this woman in front of a woman? How do I start to see what is the style of seduction that this woman needs for her to uh, enjoy the process of being seduced? Presence. Being able to be clear in the inside, clearing out space so you can truly see and clearly see what is it that this woman needs? Because every woman wants something as far as a certain style of seduction. She wants a man who is this way or that way, this clear or that clear, because that's the thing that's going to be able to turn her on. That's the thing that works well with her. And I talk to guys all the time about being clear with this woman and being truthful, but the thing that I want you guys to understand is that I'm truthful and clear even when I'm seducing a girl who's shy. I'm truthful and clear, especially when I'm seducing a girl who's intensely clear. But for you to learn this from where you are, it just requires just some adjusting of your power and your clarity. And these are things that I want you to start to build in yourself so it can be something you can work with. Because if you're not even a man who's clear, you won't be able to adjust when needed. You can't scale it. And if you're able to scale it, that's when you are a complete seducer. That's when you're able to, okay, have this girl in your life and then have that girl and have a, this girl and that girl and they all be different that's what you want you want different types of feminine energy in your life and to be able to do this it requires a man who's evolved inside with each type of woman if you're going to start with shy how do i start to adjust my clarity with a shy woman not being so clear but being slightly clear so when you're speaking to a shy woman, you can even lower your voice. You can even become much more warm and friendly and open and affirming. You start to speak to her, and you start to talk like this, you're like, so tell me, what is it that you like to do? And your voice becomes very gentle because you know that's the place that's meeting her inside. A woman is being met inside by you in that moment. So she feels like you understand her. She feels like, okay, this guy, ha he has empathy and he's able to see where I am. So in, in that prospect, 
I want to open more to myself around him. I want to give more of myself because I can see that he's somebody that gives me the chance to do that. So you can talk very gentle and slow, but still clearly, of course. And let's say you're going for the number, you can say, you know what, it's been lovely talking to you. I think that uh, although you're shy, your openness is attractive. Um, I think that means you should go, to, you know, get together and let's go for a walk. And even the, from the way that you move, from the way that you're, uh, say, what you're saying, she's going to be able to respond to that in a re really positive way because that's the thing that she wants. She wants that style of seduction. She wants somebody that's very, very gentle, open, warming, and affirming her to be who she is, but at the same time who has the clarity to move things forward. But you don't even need a lot of clarity. Just enough where you just proposing that, that's just enough for her to go, mm, you know, this is quite weird for me. You're like, yeah, I understand. You know, this is weird for most people when you meet them. And I understand that, you know, you're probably not somebody who's always talking to others. But it's been fun, right? She's like, yeah, has. say, let's just get together and it'll be more fun. And that way of being allows her to go, oh, okay, this will be good. And her shy and softness and so to speak, not so secure demeanor will be matched by you. You don't have to become insecure, but you're still matching her. You're still giving her the style of seduction that she wants. Now let's say you meet a girl who's more clear than her, a girl that's a little bit more normal. And this is, I would say, most girls when you meet them. They're just a little bit more normal. Where they, uh, you talk to them and they're just giving you normal answers back and they're not really giving you anything that's deep or really anything that's moving. And you're talking to them and you're just having a chat. How can you start to seduce them? It's gonna require you to just be a little bit more clear. It's gonna require you to be a little bit more chatty. Um, your voice is gonna have to, of course, change because you're gonna match the woman that's in front of you. You're matching her clarity with yours. And this is a great skill to have as a man. So you're there talking to a pretty normal chick and she's like, you know, so you like, so what do you like to do? And now my voice has changed. Remember, I'm not talking to the shy girl anymore. So what do you like to do? And she's like, well, I like to hang out with friends and I like to go shopping and I like to read. Then you, let's say you wanna go with the friend thing. You would say, okay, many girls say friends, but why would you say that? Like, what is it about hanging out with friends that you enjoy most? She goes, well, I enjoy the fact that I can just, you know, be myself and I don't have, you know, I can let go of the stresses of the week. And they go, ah, okay. So it's not about gospel. And she's like, uh, no, I don't really like gossip. I'm like, that's cool. I like women who can just talk things out and not have to gossip because gossip to me is unattractive. I like that. And that's something you can hit with her. You can hit something that's a little bit more uh, clarity, that has more clarity, and it's matching her where she is. And this is something, this is her style of seduction that she likes. And as you're starting to adjust, she'll start to go, okay, this is a guy that I can see myself with in some sense, romantically. Because that's the beauty of being able to adjust from woman to woman. But building the clarity first, which is look at my other video on building clarity of intention, Building the clarity first allows you to teeter. It allows you to go on the scale. And once you know the, once you can go on the scale of clarity, of being really clear and being slightly clear, you can start to seduce. Oh, it becomes amazing. And this is what I've learned in my uh, time doing it, is that when I wasn't so clear and I just only wanted you know, a girl who was this particular type of way, I couldn't handle girls who were really intense. Or I couldn't handle girls who were really shy because I just didn't want to go to those extremes. But now that I've went to all the way to the extreme and I've went all the way shy, now I know how to seduce everything in between. Now let's move to girls who are intense though. Because you have a degree, every girl has a, a certain type of clarity, but I just give you shy, normal, and then intense. Let's say you meet a woman and you're like, hi, and she's like, hello. And you say, what is your name? And she goes, my name is Toya. That's my sister's name actually. <laughs> my name is Toya, what is your name? And you go, my name is Anthony. What, uh, what are you doing today? And she goes, I don't know. I'm just walking around trying to see what the city's like. What are you trying to pick me up or something? This is a girl immediately. I know that, okay, I'm going to use a lot of clarity with this woman. I know that with her, I'm going to give her the intensity that she needs. Because if I don't, I will be too less. Because as you're with the woman, it's either, you're either going to go two directions with her. You're going to be, no, three directions. You're either going to be enough 
too much or too less. And if you're too much, then of course, there's no connection. If you're too less, then she'll think that you're, you're not worthy of her. But if you're just enough, that's the part where she can go, okay, I can see this man in some way sexually. Because we're all talking about clarity here. We're not talking about just the normal sense of seducing a woman. We're talking about clarity and seducing. So she gives me that and then I give her something intensely clear back. And as we're talking in a conversation, I'm going to stay that clear the whole time. So she can say whatever it is that she wants and I'm going to match that clarity. That's the beautiful thing about it because now I've went to the intense side. I can just go there when need be. So she go, I go, so um, a woman like you who's really confident and clear like this, what's made you like this? And she goes, I don't know. Right now I don't feel like answering this question. I go, I know you don't feel like answering it, but this is the only way I can know about you. Then she goes, yeah, I guess you're going to be annoying and just uh, make me answer the question. I go, yeah, I am. So answer it. I am matching the clarity with I know the way that she wants it. I am fitting her style of seduction. I'm fitting the thing that makes her turned on. This is what you have to understand when it comes to being able to adjust as far as calibrating and learning how to seduce many different types of women is that once you can start to fit the clarity of the thing that they need, you, can, you, you start to be a man who can have many women in your life and it becomes fruit, fruitful. This journey becomes fruitful. You just allow yourself to evolve by going to every extreme. And this is so, so, so uh, attractive because a man who can do that can match a woman, who can be able to match the intensity of a woman. And that intensity of a woman can be a very, very small intensity to very, very harsh intensity. And that's a skill you're gonna have to build. It takes time, it does. It's gonna require you going out there and getting hammered by a girl who's fucking really intense and just learning how to be intense back. It's gonna require you when you're there with a the shy girl, learning how to sit in the pressure of her sometimes wanting to leave, you being able to pull her back because you have to use the, just this much amount of clarity to pull her back. She's gonna be this shy and not opening and then you gotta press a little bit and then you have to back off at certain moments. So each moment it requires a spontaneous uh, skill to be able to see, okay, where is she at? How can I adjust to be able to help her open more? Because that's all what you're seeing. Because as a girl is giving you that intense clarity like that, she even wants to submit. Because intense clarity, that is a masculine role. And when you meet a woman who's really developed in her masculine, she's gonna want to submit to a man who's even more clear. So as you're there and you're showing the clarity, a woman can only go, okay, my clarity is matched. That means I don't have to be this clear. I don't have to. I can submit into myself and allow him to take me away because I know that I can trust his clarity. A girl who's very, very soft and sweet and shy, if you're too clear with her, you'll make her run away. If you're just enough clear, she goes, oh, okay, this feels good for me. I know that I'm a shy person. I know that I really don't feel that good about myself, but I know that he makes me feel good about myself because he's able to be empathetic with me and pace with me. He's able to do that alongside with push things forward in a clear way that he needs to. So, um, I know that he's a really, really confident, open guy, but at the same time, I can see that he's empathetic to where I am. It's all this shit that I constantly talk about to you guys, you know, when it comes to seducing women, about pacing, being empathetic, being, uh, being clear, being able to know, is this a dance that I want to engage in? Because there's some dances out there that you, don't, you won't want to engage in with a woman. Her style of seduction will be so fucking ridiculous that you won't want to engage. There's some women that I talk to who I will never engage in the dance ever again. But there's, I had to. I had to engage in it to see what I didn't like. And there's some girls who like games, and I'll never engage in that ever again. There's some girls who like fucking just taking the lead and being in the leadership role, and me having to submit. I'll never do that. Never will. Because it just doesn't make me feel powerful. It doesn't. I know what I like. That's not erotically, being erotically intelligent is knowing what you like. Sexually, I know that I don't like that. I don't. So I know that there's many different styles of seduction out there that women want. And I know that there's many of them that I'm willing to dance. And there's, you know, I know there's a few that I'm not willing to dance. And you guys need to find, okay, I need to develop myself as a dancer. I like saying this because I dance a lot. And I know that each woman that I dance with on the dance floor, like if I'm doing salsa or bachata, bachata really, salsa I'm not that good at. If I'm doing bachata, I know that there's 
a girl, she may be all right, and I'm like, all right, I'm willing to go with her, and I'm willing to, you know, have a little dance with her. Then I know some girls who are really spicy, and I'm able to just flow with them and go. I know some girls that are more sensual, and they like to move and move their body, and I'm able to do that with them. And that's just me fitting the style that the woman likes. And at the same time, being true to myself in which style I don't like. There's some girls who are fucking horrible who I, who I start dancing with and I walk away. So I don't like that. What I want you guys to understand is, once you can fit the style, it makes all the difference. Once you can have the clarity that fits where the woman is, you'll be able to go down a track with her and have the seduction be joyful. It'll be very, very fun and enticing for both of you because you're able to see where she is and skillfully and spontane spontaneously give what's demanded. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. And Budapest. And Budapest. Uh, it's kind of cold out. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. I'm out.